guys, it's Silver Zero Breaks here. Just want to say welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing another mail day video, as you can see from the background. But instead of having multiple packages, I only got one. And this one just happens to be a big box right here. And that's from 714 Hockey Breaks. And this comes from Anaheim all the way to Australia. So a huge thank you to 714 Hockey Breaks for sending this one over. Um, it is part of the giveaway win. Um, I think it was the 100 subscriber giveaway contest and I was lucky enough to win one of these and uh, I'm sure you can see from the price tag, it was actually not cheap to ship it here. So, um, so to all the subscribers who are wondering how much it costs for me to get hockey cards here in Australia, just think of what it costs to pick up a box from your typical store plus that shipping fee. That's how much it cost me to get hockey cards. So with the boom in the hockey card prices and all that stuff, I mean, it's getting harder and harder for me to, to buy hockey cards, really. Um, but anyway, um, we got the package to open up and a huge thank you to 714 Hockey Breaks. You are too kind. Um, I didn't really expect a big package like this, so I wasn't expecting you to spend that much on, uh, on the postage fee. So thank you so much for sending that over. I really do appreciate it. So um, anyway, let's uh, crack this open. I don't really know what's in here. I know there's some Ducks cards and I think he announced um, some of the stuff that he was gonna give away, but for the most part, I don't really know what's in here. But uh, we shall see. But it is in a fairly heavy box, so I, I'll uh, have a quick look inside. It looks like we got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, <laughs> all right. And we have a very cool lanyard of uh, the ducks right here. So that's really cool. What does that say? California Republic, that's pretty cool. All right, I can use that for my ID badge at work. So awesome, thank you so much. All right, um, so I got, I think there's some cards in here. Ooh, oh, there's a lot of stuff. All right, there, there's a lot of stuff in here. I see a Timmy's card. All right, there's a, another card there. Oh my goodness. Okay, looks like we got a tin inside filled with goodies as well. So, all right, so I'll open the tin last. It is very heavy, so I, I'll get to that in a moment. Oh, there's even more stuff at the bottom. Oh my goodness, what is this? All right, uh, okay. Violent Gentleman Hockey Club, that is pretty cool. <laughs> That's a fantastic picture of here, uh, here of uh, Rocket Richard, but oh my goodness. This is awesome. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. That is awesome. Oh, whoa. Stanley Cup Final Commemorative Edition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Game two. So this is the program book, I believe, right? I've never been lucky enough to attend um, a Ducks game at all, but uh, I'll have to go through this later. But this is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Of course, 2007, that's uh, when the Ducks beat the Sens for the Stanley Cup. Very happy year for me, but uh, not so much for Sens fans. But, uh, and then we have the whole Ducks roster from the uh, Stanley Cup winning team. So that is awesome stuff. All right. And I think there's, <laughs> there's also a pencil for the Mighty Ducks as well. Wow, this is, this is one incredible package and I haven't even gotten to the cards yet. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much to 714 Hockey Breaks. This is too generous of you. All right, let's get on with the... Uh... I'm gonna drop the One Touch, whoops. So let's see what's in the One Touch. It has a Mighty Ducks pin or logo in there. So it says, from Anaheim to Australia, congrats and enjoy from 714 Hockey Breaks. So that's a puzzle back card of Adam Henrique who cleared waivers and is in the taxi squad now, but uh, there we go, Adam Henrique in a fantastic looking 25th anniversary jersey. All right, so uh, let's see, where should I start? I don't even know where to start. All right, I see Timmy's cards. I love Timmy's cards. So uh, there's no instructions as to what to open first. So I'll uh, just randomly go through these. There's a lot of tape here though. <laughs> Nicely protected, I like that. And it's painter's tape, so it's easy to peel. Okay, and it looks like we have some cool Ducks cards in here. Oh, geez. All right. Tape. It's not letting go of my finger. All right. 
So we kick things off here with the very cool cup winners of Ryan Getzlaff. I actually don't have this card, so this is fantastic stuff right here. And a great image of the Captain Duck hoisting the Stanley Cup back in 2007. Um, yeah, I opened a bunch of Timmy's packs and wasn't lucky enough to pull one of these, so this is absolutely fantastic. So amazing. All right. Up next, we got a Young Guns of Max Freeberg. Didn't quite pan out with the Ducks, but uh, there we go. Max Freeberg, Young Guns. And then we have... Um, is there a bunch of cards in here? All right, let's have a look to see what's inside. I already see a Dimitro Timoshov. Um, green rookie in there. So I think there's more cool cards in here. So let's have a quick look to see what's inside. So it's a Dimitro Timoshov green numbered to 149 from Upper Deck Stature, which just happens to be my favorite set. Of course, no longer part of the lease organization. And then we do have someone in the lease organization now, and that's John Tavares, numbered to 425. Having a bit of a down year with the, with the buds, but uh, we'll see if the captain can uh, step it up once again. So I'll fit this back into the um, top loader, and then uh, I'll deal with storing the cards a bit later. <laughs> Assuming I can fit it back in. Otherwise, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'll leave it. <laughs> and then we have a OPG Marky Rookie uh, Auto of Isaac Lundstrom. So this is an update card from 1920. Um, so you'll, you'll get it from 18... Well, it's an update from 1819, but you can get this card in the 1920 OPG Platinum box. But anyway, fantastic looking auto right there. Isaac Lundstrom showing great promise with the team this year, you know, having a tiny bit of a scoring touch, which is nice. So there we go. And then we have stuff protected in cardboard. So let's have a look to see what's in here. There's a lot of stuff to open up today. So again, thank you so much to 714 Hockey Breaks. I don't even know how many times I have to say thank you. This is just simply amazing. And we got Young Guns. I love Young Guns. Uh, I'm a huge Young Gun collector as well on top of my usual ducks so let's see what's in here there's some young guns this is really cool all right uh okay i'll have to uh take off the painter's tape here and we've got some promising names already i see josh norris so let's see we have josh norris of the sends we got morgan geeky of the hurricanes we got artem zagadulin of the flames and then we have Nicholas Bowden of the uh, Blackhawks. So these are all from 2020, 2021 Upper Deck Series 1. Pretty solid names. Uh, I have to say more so for uh, Josh Norris, Nicholas Bowden, and even Morgan Geeky, who went off to a very hot start at the end of last season. But it has cooled off rather significantly since then. All right. And then on to this here. I don't even know what's inside. <laughs> All right. This is like a really, really early Christmas present of some sort. <laughs> this is amazing. There's a lot of tape to peel off here. At least everything's very nicely protected. Everything's in fantastic condition. So thank you once again to 714 Hockey Breaks for this. All right. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you know what? I am super, super thankful. So. All right, uh, more tape. All right, I'm gonna peel these off so that I can actually have a better look at what's in here. Okay, more tape. Oh, all right, so we got a fat pack of the 2021 Upper Deck Series One Hockey. Definitely will have to uh, open those up. And we got some supplies, some one touches, which is really cool. Definitely comes in handy uh, nowadays, given the uh, shortage of a lot of these products. Or if you're not experiencing shortages, they're rather expensive as well. And then we have more Ducks cards. This is really cool. All right, let's have a look. So we have an OPG Platinum. This is um, the retro of John Gibson. We got a base card of Nick Ritchie, who's no longer a duck. Timmy's 
I actually don't have this base card of um, John Gibson from this year's uh, Tim Hortons set as well. So that's another new one to the collection. So thank you so much. Uh, we got a Ryan Getzlaff Red. That's from 1920. Timmy's. And then a base card of Rick Rack Attack, who's not really attacking all that much. So anyway, <laughs> uh, at least the Ducks signed him to a cheap contract, right guys? All right. Uh, do you guys want me to open up the fat pack? I like the fat pack. Let's open it up. I, I, I want. I'm. I'm curious to see what's inside. Since we're doing this mail day, I'm. If I'm lucky, maybe in like a young gun in here. So let's see what magic 714 hockey breaks has brought over to the land down under. And usually I don't purchase fat packs just because they're like base card dumps. Um, it's probably the, like the worst value out of a lot of like the series one, two products out there. You're better off getting like a blaster box or a, a tin perhaps, but fat packs, I mean, they're mostly base cards. You only get one insert and the insert might not even be a young gun. So anyway, we have Jason Zucker, Jonathan Bernier, William Carlson, who unfortunately the Ducks gave up too early on. We got uh, the cat, Brady Shea, Oscar Clefbaum, who the Oilers miss very much. Rick Rack Attack, Martin Jones, Philippe Forsberg, Ross Mistalin, Drew Doughty, Noah Hannafin, Kata Hat, and we have a UD canvas of Chris Letang. So that will be our insert in this fat pack right here. Chris Letang, UD canvas. I think the uh, pens could benefit uh, from offloading his contract right now, but uh, we'll see how they're how Berkey constructs the team. Um, but anyway, we got uh, Quinn Hughes, Nathan McKinnon, Mark Edward Vlasic, Patrice Bergeron. We got a checklist of Natty Mac and the Breadman, Tyler Myers, Dougie Hamilton, Boone Jenner, Ryan Suter, Charlie McAvoy, Brendan Sod, and Thomas Tata to finish off that fat pack. So there we go, one insert, and it just happens to be simply Chris Letang. I respect him as a player, but I don't think he is the defenseman he once was. All right, on to uh, the very, very heavy tin. I think this is the main reason why the postage cost was so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it actually surprisingly, that package cost more than what it would through like, I don't know, FedEx or USPS that, um, you know, the hobby shops go through, but uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised at how much uh, the Postal Service costs. But this package got here within about three-ish weeks, just almost four weeks, so it's not too bad, seeing that the postage time has improved significantly since, you know, everything happened. All right, so let's have a look to see. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Right off the top, we have a jumbo Young Guns, or an oversized Young Guns of Sam Steele. This is amazing. <laughs> I love Sam Steele, fantastic player. Um, definitely, you know, very promising. I really hope to see him do a bit more as a second line center for the Ducks. But uh, this is awesome. Second, yeah, I mean, yeah. Jumbo Young Guns of Sam Steele, huge fan. So awesome, this is so awesome. All right, we have a, you know, a jumbo top loader that would fit very well with the Sam Steele. And then we've got some bubble wrap. We've got some more supplies, so some uh, sleeves to keep the cards in, so thank you. I can always use more of these around here. And then we have a lot of cards. I think, uh, as promised, there was gonna be 100 rookie cards of some sort, so 100 rookie cards. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna close up this tin, and then we're gonna go through all of these rookies. Pack number one. This is like a, a big jumbo mystery pack right here. <laughs> All right, so we have a marquee rookie of Casey Middlestat from 1819 OPG Platinum. Unfortunately, I don't think he's really gonna pan out for the Sabres, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, we have Eric Brandstrom, marquee rookie. Nick Suzuki, marquee rookie. We have a Dante Fabro red, uh, 
rookie renditions from Upper Deck Trilogy. Vitaly Abramov, rookie renditions from Trilogy as well. And a red Barrett Hayton, rookie renditions, which fits very well with the Coyotes background. And then we have an SP Rookie Authentics of Nikita Gusev, which is from the 1920 um, SP Retail product, which I actually never got a chance to open last year. So this was number 307 of 1199. So that's Nikita Gusev. And then we got a very nice one of Kirby Doc, which is numbered 188 of 1199. Fortunately, sitting out for the season so far due to the injury suffered at the World Juniors. We have a marquee rookie of Philip Zadina. We got a Jack Hughes, numbered 612 of 1199. I'm still looking for his young guns, but there we go, Jack Hughes. We got Adam Boquist. And then we have Joel L'Esperance of the Dallas Stars. We got Julian Gauthier, who's actually no longer with the Canes. Joel Faraby, who's actually doing pretty well for the uh, Flyers this year. We got a blue variant, or is it a blue parallel of uh, Jack Hughes? We got a blue Tobias Bjornfot, a blue Emil Bemstrom, and a blue Elvis Merz Lincolns. So there we go. Really cool rookie cards right there. Tons of tons of rookies. All right, we got more. Let's go. <laughs> uh, once I figure out how to open this one here, find the opening, and then we'll go from there. All right, we have Max Verano. We got a rainbow marquee rookie of Philip Zadina. We got a blue top 50 of Elvis Merzlikens, which you'll find only in the retail products of uh, Allure rather than the hobby. Uh, we got the OPG rookie of Jared McCann. We got a marquee rookie update of Noah Dobson. We got our hot rookies of Akima Liu. So there we go. That's another very cool card. A nice little throwback to some score, which I've actually haven't revisited in a very, very long time. <laughs> uh, we got a Parker's rookie of Andreas Janssen. We have Matt Duchesne from National Hockey Day. Huh, that's pretty cool. I haven't opened many of the National Hockey Day products, so that is really, really interesting. All right. We have a MVP rookie of JT Comfer. I believe that's from 1718 MVP which uh, I actually never opened either. So that was during the years where I just wasn't collecting. I'm slowly catching up though. That's a very nice ultimate introductions of JT Confer. I love the acetate finish of those cards. They're very nice looking. So there we go, JT Confer ultimate introductions. That's a beautiful looking card. I'm a huge fan of ultimate. All right, we have uh, Alexander Carey, number 304 of 999. And that's an Ice Premier Rookie. This one's from 1718 Upper Deck Ice. And then we have Valentin Zykov of the Hurricanes, also numbered to 1299. So these are level five um, Ice Premiers. So there we go, right uh, there. And then we have Yusuf Valmaki. There we go, Parkhurst Rookie as well. Still a very promising defender for the Calgary Flames. And then we have Jaden Schwartz, hot rookies, also from SCORE. <laughs> and then we have a victory rookie of uh, David Krejci. So that's pretty cool. Look at how young he looks way back when, right? <laughs> that is interesting card. There we go. Uh, we got a marquee rookie. I don't know what set this one's from. 1314 OPG Hockey, so from uh, 1314 OPG. So there we go, Chad Rowado. And then we have Tim Conboy, MVP rookie from 0809. So there we go. That's a name I'm not all that familiar with right there. And then we have a silver script of Malcolm Subban, who's unfortunately not performing up to expectations. So there he's kind of lost his spot with the, well, his spot as the starting goaltender for the Blackhawks. So. Anyway, we have a very nice MVP rookie of Josh Anderson, who's actually doing great things for the Habs this year, which is a very solid pickup on Mark Bergevin's part. And then we have an MVP rookie of Noel Juleson as well. Okay, 
So that's stack number two of cards, which is pretty cool. On to number three. We got some more Jack Hughes goodness. And I can see the Jack Hughes card from the rookie box set. So if anyone's um, picked up one of those rookie box sets, you do get the top rookies of that certain year. And there's a chance of landing one autograph in one of those boxes, um, but it comes one in every 20 <laughs> boxes. All right, so we do have that Jack, uh, Jack Hughes rookie card. We got Carter Verhaeg, who's actually doing great things this year. Um, but then again, any time you're playing with Alexander Barkov, let your level of play would automatically just go up. And then we got Eric Brandstrom, who's uh, you know doing very well recently, uh, once called up with the uh, Senators. We got Barrett Hayton, Adam Fox, Noah Dobson, Elvis Merzlikens, Dominic Kubelik. Is this the whole rookie card set? We got Taro Hirose. We got Kale Flurry, Philip Zadina, Kirby Doc, and then we have a hot rookies of Corey Conacher. I remember when he first came onto the scene, really exploded, and everyone took notice. Did wonders for my hockey pool, and then he just fell off the cliff after that. So there we go, Corey Conacher. We got Nikita Gusev because they were back with the rookie box set. We got Jesper Bolquist, Vili Hanola, Victor uh, Olafson. We got Emil Bemstrom, and a retro of Noah Dobson, and a retro of Nico Sturm, and a retro of Brady Keeper. <laughs> oh, every time I see Brady Keeper cards, I'll think of Freedom Suffer cards. He always has that tune stuck in my head. All right. More rookies, because we do love our rookies. And then we have a red Eric Brandstrom from Upper Deck Synergy. The one of the most loved products among the collectors in hockey. We got Guillaume Brisebois. We got Libor Hayek. We have a score rookie card of Damian Brunner. So there we go. We got Taro Hirose. Trevor Moore Marky rookie. We got a Rainbow Ryan Paling. We got Vili Hanola. Alexi Cirilla. And then we have a new uh, marquee rookie of Nicholas Baudin for 2020-21 OPG, Brandon Hagel, and Anthony Angelo. All right. So that's our third stack of rookie cards. I think I forgot to put any cards on the feature uh, today. So let's quickly do that now. I'll put Sam Steele right in the middle right there. And I really do like that uh, Adam Henry card. A, you know, anything that features the ducks, I'll throw that right there. And uh, yeah, I'll see if there's anything else I can throw up there. <laughs> um, -ta -ta -ta. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's put in uh, Ryan Getzlaff winning the cup right there as well. Just some feature cards in the background. I don't want it to look too sort of empty. I know I usually fill it up, but sometimes I'm so distracted with opening cards, I just forget altogether. So let's have Isaac Lundstrom there. And uh, I'll have Max Freeberg right there as well. So there we go. We'll have something in the background just to keep you guys entertained. In the meantime, pack number three of mystery rookie cards that we have here. And now we have a rookie renditions of Nathan Bastin, rookie renditions of Jack Hughes. So I, I'm starting to get a nice collection of Jack Hughes rookie cards, just not the good ones. <laughs> uh, I'm struggling to get his young guns. That's, that's one I'm really, really wanting to get, but he just continues to elude me. I don't know why. Anyway, we got Riley Stillman, Joey Decord, Vitaly Abramov, Rasmus Sandin. We got an ultimate introductions of Vince Dunn. That's actually a pretty cool card. Very nice card, actually. And Vince Dunn, again, a player that's pretty solid and is actually on the appears to be on the trading block for uh, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, we got a marquee rookie of Kirby Doc, the Superman, Nico Sturm, who has excellent penmanship, it appears. We have Joel Farabee, Carter Verhaeg. Nikita Gusev, and Oliver Wallstrom. Oh, one more. Got another Noah Dobson right there. All right. 
That's our third stack of rookie cards. I have actually haven't really been counting, but I assume it is 100 because I remember him saying 100. I'm just uh, <laughs> looking through these cards right here. We got a blue Jesper Bolquist, a blue Jack Hughes. We got Vili Hanola, Oliver Wallstrom, Vili Hanola again, Adam Bolquist, Julian Gauthier. We got a rookie short print from Allure of Alexandre Texier. We got a lore rookie of Oliver Wallstrom, Kirby Doc, Nico Sturm, Caller Front Runners of Taro Hirose. We got an allure of Guillaume Brisebois and Zach McEwen. So lots and lots of rookie cards in here today, at least from the 1920 set. There are a few from the 2021. I'm gonna move this out of the way here. And this is the final stack of cards. We do have Emil Bemstrom, E2 Listerinen. We got an MVP rookie of Zach McEwen. So I think this is actually from, uh, this is from the, what do you call it? Like um, the factory set, is that correct? Like you just get a whole stack of the full MP MVP uh, base set. And then there's a chance at landing the silver parallel if you ever purchase one of those. But anyway, we got uh, Zach McEwen. Brandon Gignac, Nathan Bastian, Philip Myers, Cole Sherwood, and then now we're back with some SP Blue of Philip Myers, Nikita Gusev, Jesper Bolquist, Alexander Texier, Ilya Mikheyev, Rasmus Sandin, Trevor Moore, Joel Farabee, and then we have more MVP rookies of Alexander Texier, Riley Stillman, Rudolph Balsers, Guillaume Brisebois, and a rookie renditions of Max Verno. Ottawa kid who actually played briefly <laughs> for the Sens. All right, so that is it for the rookie cards um, slash 100 subscriber giveaway contest from 714 Hockey Breaks. Thank you so much for this awesome, awesome package. I mean, I love that Sam Steele jumbo right in the background. <laughs> This is really awesome. Uh, but yeah, that was a massive package. Um, I mean, it's really cool. I love seeing some supplies in here. It really does help out with the storage of cards. Um, yeah, even more sleeves. I mean, we can always sleeve up my cards. I got so many lying around everywhere. So anyway, very generous package. Really awesome to, for you to send that over. And uh, I'm gonna have Quite a bit of a good time going through this one here, you know, trip down memory lane and just, oh look, I just saw Dustin Pancakes Penner. All right, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun going through this, just to live, live through that Stanley Cup winning year again. It is absolutely fantastic. So there we go. Um, yes, go, go check out, you know, 714 Hockey Breaks over on Instagram and on his YouTube channel. One of the best guys in the hobby. Very cool to talk to and very, very generous man. So um, go check him out. Go check out the YouTube. Go follow on Instagram. He just passed a thousand uh, followers over there as well. So yeah, very cool guy. So um, huge thank you once again. I couldn't say it enough. Anyway, that is it for the mail day today. I hope you guys still enjoy the content on this channel. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and uh, gives me the motivation to pump up more content for you. I know my um, subscriber sort of count has kind of stagnated a little bit, so um, it's not really growing all that much anymore. So um, yeah, but we'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, I did say I'll give it a year to run this channel and it's been over a year, so it's still going and I'm kind of happy to, you know, push on through, assuming I can still afford hockey cards. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye everyone.